Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the process of GSTR1 JSON upload and return filing. GSTR1 upload. To upload the GSTR1 details entered in different categories like B2B, B2C, etc. Go to GSTR1, select the financial year and month and click on upload. In the types field, select the types based on your requirement that is monthly one time to upload the data to the portal once in a month the upload can be made as a whole by selecting summary or can upload section by section by selecting the required section if you want to upload only a few specific invoices then select the category and select the required invoices for upload delete download sections this will delete the details of a specific section that is already uploaded to the portal and delete downloaded invoices. This will delete the specific invoice within a section that is already uploaded to the portal. After selecting the required details, click upload portal to upload the data to portal. You will be asked to verify the GSTIN for cancellation. If required to verify, click on verify, else click on the upload button. You will be prompted to enter the CAPTCHA, enter and login. The JSON file will be uploaded to the portal and successful login. To view the JSON file created, click to download JSON and the JSON file will be downloaded to your system. To upload the data to the portal through OTP using the GSP service, click upload OTP. You will be asked to verify the GSTIN for cancellation. If required to verify, Click on verify else to click on upload. If the OTP has expired, then generate a new OTP and continue. Otherwise, the JSON file will be directly uploaded to the portal. If you want to generate the summary of the details uploaded to the portal, click on generate summary under summary portal. This will require the OTP to be provided. On generation, the summary can be viewed under uploaded summary under summary portal. To proceed with return filing, go to GSTR filing under GSTR1 and select the required type. GSTR1 return can be filed in two methods that is with EVC with DSC. To file using EVC, select the file GSTR1 with EVC and enter the authorized signatory span number. Now click on generate EVC OTP and an OTP will be received. OTP will be sent to the mobile number that is linked to the other number which is linked to the PAN number given to the authorized signatory. Enter the OTP and click on submit file. Once it is submitted, you will get an acknowledgement number and acknowledgement date which has to be entered under the GSTR get column. To file using DSC, select file GSTR1 with DSC and click on download GST desktop software for filing. An exe file will be downloaded, which is for several web extension. Install the extension file and login the same using your login credentials to Saril Pro. Within the extension, one can file the returns using their DSC. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos.